guys welcome and welcome back to my channel it's your girl Jules Emily here and before you go any further in this video please don't forget to join the Jules Emily fam as you can see by the title we will be going in with the new Huda Beauty luminous matte concealer and the ultimate Too Faced born this way concealer that everyone fell into the hype about um, can you guys check my face out? Look how nice and smooth it's looking. Can y'all decide or can y'all pause the video and tell me which side is which before you continue the rest of this video? Let's see. Yes, so for the Too Faced Burn This Way Concealer, it's priced at £26. Now, I feel like that's a stretch because I remember when this just came out, it was roughly 18 to £20 when it just came out. Six to eight pound jump. Now, this concealer comes in 32 shades, I believe. Um, they do have a great shade range. So in the UK, you may purchase this concealer at Harrods, Boots, Selfridges, Cult Beauty and probably many more other online like look fantastic now I do believe you may purchase this this concealer at a discounted price either from look fantastic Cult Beauty or any other store that I've just mentioned now, I don't think I ever bought this on full price neither did I buy these on full price also, lastly, this concealer was said to have 12 hours of long wear. So, even though they said that, I won't be demonstrating that in today's video because time has went fly past today, which is meant to be my content day. Um, okay, and for the Huda Beauty concealer, the Huda Beauty concealers, I've been using non-stop actually, because in my last video, I rated it 3.7 out of 5 but by my surprise I've been using it non-stop every time I do my makeup anyway let's jump into the specs this is priced at 24 pounds there is approximately 29 shades in this concealer beauty has less shades in this concealer she did do her thing with mastering the undertones because even if you go on the side you can clearly see the pink undertone neutral and the warm undertones in the concealer on the side that i must say is really good where you may purchase these concealers you may purchase these concealers in the uk at Huda beauty main site cult beauty harrods boots selfridges cult beauty and feel unique and probably many other more now if you're from the us i'm sure you guys can purchase it from sephora or ulta i do believe um but yes let's jump right into the video. now as you can see i came on camera with a blank canvas concealer that i will be going in with is the huda beauty fox filter concealer this is the luminous matte now once again i do have the shade peanut butter and candied ginger now what i do like to do is what i will show you with these two concealers but i'm gonna go in with the lightest shade first of this concealer which is the candied ginger and this one has a golden undertone so this is the doe foot applicator once again if you have never seen it or watched my last video which i believe you should do this is the lightest shade this is how i like to apply it just a dot right there it is super creamy i'm gonna take the peanut butter which has a red undertone to it and i'm just gonna use that on the outskirts right here just like that now you guys can definitely see the undertone in this concealer i wish i was able to show you the same in the born this way because i did have a lighter shade now i've had this concealer for quite a while I'm not even sure if this is the correct scent for it, but, and by the way, the Huda Concealer does not have a scent, but this one, probably spoil, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to use it. Okay, so I'm just going to do the same thing, and I feel like the Too Faced Concealer is like a mix between the two of these. What do you guys think? 
please do comment down below and let me know what you guys think of these two concealers up close like yeah right off the bat you can definitely see that the Huda Beauty concealer gives off more once applied and the Born This Way gives more of a flat or a thinner layer when applied I don't know if you guys understand where I'm coming from but yeah now I'm gonna take my sponge now this sponge was recommended by a beautiful subscriber I also subscribed to her channel but she had recommended the Shein sponge now these sponges are immaculate they are really really nice and soft and you'll see how they blend out so I have two of them for this video um, I was gonna go in with my Juno and Co sponge but I believe that keeps the product now I don't know if you guys are someone that prefers to use a beauty blender or a June and Co sponge which does not soak up product but for today's video I'm just gonna go in with these okay so I'm just gonna quickly blend so I'm just gonna quickly blend this side out and right off the bat super smooth finish right off the bat this is how it looks very good now going into the other side that's very interesting Okay, right off the bat, I feel like even though they're both very lightweighted products, I generally feel like the Too Faced one does feel a bit more airy than the Huda Beauty. Now, if you go up close and personal, they both perform the same when it comes to up spec of it under my eyes. They do both blend up beautifully. So right off the bat, it's hard to consider which one I'd prefer more, but to be honest, I've been using this one a lot, lot more. I've been using this one alongside my all-time favorite concealer, which is the HMB Cosmetics. Do comment down below and let me know what you guys think about the two of them, now that you've seen them both side by side. I don't know. I'm gonna go in with my Huda Beauty powder and I'm just gonna put that under my under eye. just like so I'm gonna finish the rest of my face off camera and be right back with you guys yeah, so I'm back and this is the final look I didn't do too much because I really wanted to focus on these concealers this is my under eye up close and personal I feel like you guys can be the judge of which one is better or if they look the same or what would you change but for me personally I would try to say that this one probably have a bit more crease or shows like a mini bag under here but I'm not sure yeah I feel like the Too Faced side yeah, I feel like the Too Faced side kind of has a little more bag on, like shows like I have a little bag on the hair or a little bulge. Whereas in the Huda Beauty side, it's way more smoother. 
if that makes sense and this is me even opening up my eyes i don't know if you guys can see that but i'm probably bugging but up close far away you'll be the judge of that but for me it's the huda beauty side so once again so once again huda beauty and born this way but um this is the end of this video please do comment down below and let me know which one is your favorite um i do i hope to see you guys in my comments and i hope to see you guys in my next video bye until next time